Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to talk to you briefly about what plugins are for Adobe After Effects. So a plugin is basically a small program that's been written to create a particular effect, either to aid in color correction or blurs or distortions or to create an energy look. Um, I don't know much about coding them, but once you get a plugin, usually they'll have a self-installer or you'll drag it over to the plugin location. When you open up After Effects, they'll show up under Effects. So let's take a quick look at some plugins. Here inside of After Effects, you have a lot of pre-built plugins that come with the software, a lot of your blurs and things like that. So if you select a fast blur, what you see here on the side underneath the effect control, so you have usually projects and then the effect control, this will be all of the parameters that were created for the plugin. They're coded inside of it and the plugin knows how they're supposed to work. You can go to About and with most third-party plugins it will tell you who created it and what version it is, etc. For this, it's just a simple blur, so as you increase it, it begins to affect the video. A lot of effect plugins will work top to bottom, so if you have, um, let's say, fast blur and then color and then a distort, After Effects will work from the top down. First it will blur it, and then it will color it, and then it will distort it. And if you need to swap which one's getting affected first, you would just switch the plugins in order. So for example, let's go to color correction, we'll just click change color. So first, the blur is being activated, then change color. And you can swap them like so, so that one's being activated before the other. This can be very important if you're going after a particular kind of effect and using elements from different plugins to get there. Um, this can also be the same thing for adjustment layers. So if we create a new adjustment layer, and we're going to go effect, let's put a turbulent displace on it. You kind of see with this, we'll drop the blur a little so we can see it a little clearer, that the objects are being distorted a little bit. But if we grab that adjustment layer and move it down, now After Effects is rendering out the layer, then rendering out the effect, but there's nothing under the effect to be rendered. So it's very important to keep in mind the layer order or the effect order of what you're stacking and how it relates to each other. Most of these plugins can be found by going, if we open up uh, Windows Explorer, you can click Start and go to Computer, or click the little folder at the bottom. They're going to be inside of C, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, Support Files. And most of your plugins will be right here in the Plugins folder. So you can see underneath Effects and Extensions, and I've got a couple of third-party plugins from Trap Code. I hope you've enjoyed this video on what plugins are in Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.